somebody going through some um, drug withdrawal or alcohol withdrawal and they're by themselves and it could be more than one person uh, I feel like this is part of karma because somebody's exhausted all of their money trying to destroy somebody else or trying to just do fuck shit we'll just say and um yeah I, I feel like somebody's like in like in pain I don't wish that on nobody and who if, if you know I'm sorry if somebody is going through this. I don't even care if it is an enemy of mine. I don't wish that on anybody because I, I don't. I've been through that shit, man, and uh, I'm so grateful that I don't go through that shit anymore. But for somebody, that is not the case. So I hope I hope everybody's well. I just put another video out. I'm just I'm gonna try to do more and more of these just because it um it's becoming more interesting. The shit that that I'm getting downloads for, but I just saw the hero heroin card. So somebody could have actually uh, graduated to heroin. Somebody that maybe never touched it, you know, I don't even know how you, I tried that shit. I did try it. I never stayed with it. Thank God. Uh, it, it made me sick and look like shit. Like all the drugs I did made me look like shit. Oh, I hope nobody's prostituting for the shit. Exploitation of the female nature and form. Somebody going, somebody maybe used to look like this goddess. Now they're looking like 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. All right, so that's confirmation my phone just rang. So somebody is forced Look, beggar. Oh, I hope not. Look, even even my worst enemy, and this is like straight up, because this is just not how my how my style. I don't wish on my worst enemy withdrawal and having to feel like you have to sell your ass for drugs as a woman. I don't. But damsel, yeah, plain damsel in distress. You can't make this shit up. I don't wish this on anybody at all. I don't wish bad on it. Look, femme fatale, look. Somebody is literally either flirting or thinking that they have to like suck dick or, or uh, let somebody do something to them uh, because they have addictions. Can I get one more? Uh, Archangel Michael, please, please, because it's going to be a weird one. Please protect me with your light on this one. And protect whoever's going through this and help whoever's going through this. Anyone that's out there going through addiction or feeling like that is their resort that they have to compromise their their beautiful goddess body people may be talking about somebody actually prostituting all right uh thank you for your guidance and your light and your protection always thank you all right i'm gonna one more please pioneer convulsive need to keep moving on so I want to see, hold on, I'm sorry guys, I want to see something for a second. Compulsive need to abandon the present. Alright, so somebody wants to numb them, so to a compulsive need to abandon the present. Never settling anywhere. So somebody has nowhere to live, they're addicted to drugs, and they have no money. Priest card, yeah, somebody needs some kind of priest I don't know why I'm still shuffling them. Sorry. I'm just like really, um, I'm like upset over this because I don't ever like to see women having to do some shit like this. I really don't. And I'm just grateful that I never did. But, uh, yeah, somebody, somebody is forced. I don't feel like they were forced. I feel like they got themselves into this. We're not forced to do anything. But somebody's in a situation where they don't stay in one place for long. They're all over the place. They're doing shit for drugs. They don't have any respect for their body. All right, can I get one more? Recognition and reward. Maybe this person in their life like never really got any kind of like out of girls. If it's a masculine energy, fine, because it could be like a a, a male pro. I mean, a gay man. You know, it's just an energy of goddess. Conflict and defeat. Somebody feels con conflicted, defeated. I feel like um, 
Damn, recognition and reward. I mean, they could be like a really good dick sucker. I'm, I'm just going to say it like a call. I'm tired of trying to censor my shit, you know? And there's the devil on the bottom again. So, I don't know, man. I just saw the Hierophant 2 card. That was God. So, maybe somebody's like really having like conflict on doing right and wrong. Like, somebody's having a lot of conflict when it comes to their dark and their light side. I feel like somebody really wants to. Yeah, strength. That's a strength card. That's strong. Somebody, somebody, I feel like somebody's really trying to be strong here. Somebody's trying to be strong through a very difficult time. And I, I think this person has hid this for a long time. And it's just, they've hid how they felt. They've hid childhood issues. They, they hid how men treated them. And they, they, because of men treating them a certain way, maybe their dad wasn't respectful or didn't respect their mother or whatever this is, I feel like there's a female energy out there who just feels completely lost and like she doesn't have any worth. I'm here to tell you that's not fucking true. Yeah, she feels alone. And like she doesn't have any fuck. Oh, there's a devil. Alone with the devil. It's almost like she's sleeping with the devil too. Probably multiple of them. Yeah, somebody. He got his grit. He got his grit. Okay, what do we need to know? Somebody's having a hard time. It's temperance card. Somebody's having a hard time with addiction. Yeah, somebody's having a hard time rejecting it, getting off of it, turning it down, saying no. Um, maybe someone, I hope someone's angels are there to like help. Maybe you need to ask for your angels to help you and send help. Yeah, maybe you need to ask your angels to give you some kind of help to help you move forward. You know, I, I've, I've done this and I didn't realize that it actually works and it comes in very crazy ways. Just ask them for help. Ask them to send assistance for whatever it is. This person could be homeless on the street and, and being forced to do this shit. On the, homeless in the world. I saw the world card. They're like lost in the world. Somebody's like lost in the world. <laughs> just, just feeling low and and fending for themselves. What's the six of swords? I hope this isn't a young person. That is my penis card, but um, I feel like somebody just wants a new beginning. Like they just want a, a do over. I just heard do over. They want to put an end to some shit. Like that's just like they're tired. They're exhausted. Look how messy. I just noticed like the bed. I'm not even gonna say like what that looks like to me. Not on, not I mean like that. I mean, it just looks like somebody just got done with a John. You know what I'm saying? This person could be married or in a relationship. They I, I'll be real pissed if this person is doing this for a masculine energy. Hey, I hope it ain't a kid. I hope it ain't a kid, bitch. Yo, if if somebody's doing this with a kid, um. I hope the worst for you. I really do. I can't even say anything else, okay? What's this Ace of Wands? Please. Ace of Wands. Yeah, there it is again. It's somebody like... I don't know. This is weird. Somebody's smoking weed and they're lacing weed with somebody. Maybe they're... I feel like they may, they may be smoking pot. Because I'm looking at like this looks like a blunt now to me. And I'm looking at the leaves off of here. And then I'm looking at this person like this now. And it's almost like they get passed out because the weed is laced. Maybe this person has to get really fucked up in order to do this shit. Somebody's angels are trying to get someone's attention to tell them get the fuck out and move. Look, I don't even care if you got one jacket with you, bitch. I don't care if you got to go by boat. You know what I'm saying? Hop in the river and go. Make, make like uh, Tom Hanks and Castaway. Grab Wilson and roll. Somebody's in a bad situation, I feel like. And uh, maybe this person burned all their bridges. Four swords. Four swords. I feel like people turn their backs on them. Maybe they turned their back on people and now people are turning their back on them. Or they really are thinking about getting in a boat. <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know, whatever. I, I, I like to make light of things, but I want to be careful that I don't disrespect somebody's situation. 
Somebody really needs to gain some strength and stand their ground on this situation. Somebody feels completely defeated. I saw the strength card. Someone needs to get really strong. You're a lot stronger than you think you are. Whoever I'm talking to, you're a lot stronger than you think you are. Because I tell you what, that this this is not the way to go. I feel like somebody's just like, oh, I mean, I, like they can't go on anymore. Look, it's almost like you start a walk in in here. And it's almost like, like you can't walk in the water, but it's like she stopped in her tracks because she don't have a boat, right? Somebody feels like they, they can't go on anymore. That's not true. Why is this three of wands here? Why is this three of wands here? Is this her pimp? Somebody needs to stand up to a king of swords person, look, and walk away. Somebody needs to walk the fuck away of a situation because you may have started out, literally, like I said, looking like a goddess. And you don't look the same anymore. This 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 masculine energy, I feel like I'm talking to a female because of the goddess card, though. I feel like this masculine energy took your spirit, your self-respect, your soul, your dignity. You fight all the time. You feel like you got to protect yourself all the time. You may get asked questions a lot. He may accuse you of shit that he's doing. Thought you were going to have uh, a life with this person. Yeah. You didn't use your intuition. Maybe you're calling other people and you're planning on leaving. Maybe you're doing that. Maybe, or you need to. Maybe you're calling people, even if you haven't talked to them in a while, to see if they can help you out. Or, like I said, you need to. Okay. Yeah, like you feel alone. You feel disappointed. You feel like there's you, you, there's nothing left in these cups. Like there's just nothing left. Whatever you were into with this King of Swords person, it's just gone. It's depleted. There's nothing. It's just there's no emotion. There's no love. There's no surprise. There's no, oh my God. There's no, there's just nothing. Look, it's just addictions. It's just drugs. There's no wish fulfillment. Yeah, there's just a lot of shady shit and deception going on. What the fuck is this, man? You need to be strong. You really do. You, somebody needs to get the fuck out. Uh, yeah, there it is again. Like, you're disappointed because you thought this was going to be, like, like, a good life for you. You thought you were going to have wish fulfillment with this person. Damn. Yeah, you made a bad decision. Now you're stuck. Now you're probably stuck in addictions too. You're stuck in addictions. You're stuck with this fucking horrible person that you constantly have to freaking put your wand up to and shit. I hope this person doesn't sexually assault you. They may tie you up. They may like that S&M shit. Or you may be doing this if you're prostituting. There may be somebody here who actually even feels like a prostitute when they're with their own person. Maybe that's the kind of sex they like or that's the way that they treat women is that they make you feel like a prostitute and shit. And then they, like, leave you hanging. Like, I feel like there's just, like, I, it's very cold energy. Yeah, King of Pentacles. So maybe, um, hold on. You thought this person was going to be a King of Pentacles type person, responsible, had money, investing, would buy you things, make you look, stability, give you stability. You could have married this person or you moved in with this person. You need to move the fuck out. He's a manipulator. He's a manipulator. For somebody, he's a, he's a fucking master manipulator and shit. And he could be going to jail. You thought you were going to... Yeah, you're stuck with this person. You thought... You literally thought that you were going to... Have a good life with this person. Yeah, you need to close this cycle. You need to close this cycle with this person. It's not going to go forward. It's, it's, you're always going to be stuck. If anything, you're going to wind up going backwards. Huh. Yeah, this person has dark secrets, man. You did something too quick with this person. You weren't thinking... This person probably didn't show his darkness when you first met this person. Now it's like you want to, like, you want to leave really quick. You made a very bad decision too quickly. Yeah, this person came at you like a knight in shining armor. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll hold the door for you. Yeah, 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 I got that. Don't worry, I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, and then, and now, it's not, this person is not who you thought that they were, ma'am. 
I'm really sorry, because, like, I just feel like, uh, yeah, look. Not what I thought. No love. And one cup? Really? Really? I was going to give these three to you? You come at me with one? I gave these three to you just today? And you give me fucking one? It's like being, uh, I'd rather die than to be in this relationship any longer. That's what I'm feeling. It's a very down energy. Look at this woman in this card. It's like, I mean, I thought that I had love. I thought, I had, where did it go wrong? Like, I, my, my, my dress wasn't all fucked up when I first got here. My hair was all up right when I got here. And after I'm with this dude for a little bit, now it's like I'm looking like who did it and ran away. Somebody lost themselves. Yeah, judgment. This is your this is your judgment though because maybe maybe you uh, manipulated this person. Maybe you came in between this person and somebody else. If you came in this person and somebody else and, and interrupted their destiny, then this is the karma. This is somebody's karma. This is this woman's karma. Whoever I'm speaking to or about, this is this person's karma. Why? Why is this person? Why is this person under judgment? Because I feel like she did this for money, or she thought that she was going. She did this for a home. Maybe she just wanted a home. Maybe she needed a place to live for her or her and her kids, and she just was like, "I'll, I'll say whatever and do whatever." And maybe this person, yeah, because she thought she was going to get something out of this. This could be somebody from her past that she already knew something about this motherfucker too. And she went back. And that's another thing. Stop going back to the past. Stop going back to the past. Keep moving forward. The past is dead. Right? You need to deaden your past. Whoever I'm speaking to. Maybe you stop speaking to your family because of this person. Maybe you lied to your family. Maybe this person lied to you and they have a family. This person, this dude may even have like a wife and kids. Like a whole wife and like two and a half kids somewhere. Yeah, somebody, this is your karma though. This is, this is a female's karma. Because you may have known. Ah, oh, there we go guys. Thank you. You knew. I feel like somebody fucking knew that this person had a wife and kids that they weren't, they weren't messing with. They may even you know child support or alimony. And you still went and got with this person? If you did that, if there's a feminine energy listening to me, if you got with a dude and you knew that he had a fucking wife and kids and he wasn't divorced and that he wasn't paying child support and taking care of his own kids and you thought that he was going to take care of yours or that he was going to be a good husband and dad to you and he wasn't to the other one, you're a fool. I'm surprised the fool card didn't come out. And this is why it's your fucking karma. I'm sorry for what you're going through, but this is how we learn. I'm, I'm gone, everybody. I'm out. Love you. Bye.